Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, where everything you're about to hear and see has been done in one take. I am your host, the One Take Man. I will briefly go over the uh, conclusions of part one, so you know, uh, so you know where I start when uh, discussing this video. The uh, theoretical uh, promotion I am looking for will have uh, 52 regular uh, shows, or on rare occasions uh, 53 uh, no, weekly shows, alongside several uh, special events. In the beginning, four, so one every quarter, and then the, that number will gradually expand to uh, 12. So one show every month, three every quarter, with the initial the initial four still being the uh, uh, main specials or most important specials. The uh, content of these uh, shows and specials will feature uh, tournaments that will determine who becomes the uh, contender for my, uh, for my various championships, as well as uh, several uh, singular matches or series of matches to determine who wins, uh, who wins various feuds, various non-title feuds. Or title, non-title, doesn't matter. Uh, the uh, titles I have in mind are a uh, main event title, a mid-card title, and a tag team title. With an eventual uh, third solo title joining the fray uh, in, order to, uh, in order to allow more matches of, a certain, of certain, uh, certain gimmicks. Got that? Good. Now let's get to the uh, topic of the video at hand, which is uh, discussing, more, discussing more about that. The titles will be referred to as, insert company name here, Tag Team Championships, Television Championship, regardless of whether or not the company has a traditional TV deal or a streaming deal, and World Championship. Not World Heavyweight, just World. Any further qualifier artificially reduces the eligibility of uh, the wrestlers who can uh, win the title. As for the... Uh, as for the uh, actual tournaments, the uh, world title will have uh, four that are dedicated uh, exclusively to it, one every quarter. And they are, in the first quarter, a single elimination 16-person uh, tournament, which will focus around uh, uh, four-way elimination matches, and, and it all takes place in one night. In the second uh, quarter, a, uh, a round-robin uh, eight-person tournament, in the third quarter, a uh, series of uh, beat the clock matches with 12 hopefuls. And in the final quarter, a 16 person single elimination tournament consisting entirely of singles matches stretched out over three days. No, not three days, five days. The uh, champions, the champion for champion will also compete over the year in various. Uh, various singles and tag team matches, and whoever manages to pin the champion will win a title shot at uh, one of the uh, uh, non-major special events. Same is true for, same is true for uh, every, uh, for every other title, hold, title holder. As for the TV title, well, uh, the, the order goes as follows. In the uh, first quarter, an, uh, an open challenge, so to speak. That means the champion will show up uh, once every week to face uh, to face a predetermined contender, and whoever manages to uh, whoever manages to uh, defeat the champion in a non-title match will earn a title match at some point in the future. In the uh, second quarter, a uh, a double elimination eight-person tournament. For those of you who don't know, double elimination tournaments uh, uh, occur in uh, uh, fighting esports all the time. In order to be eliminated from there, you have to lose uh, two matches and you get divided into two brackets. But okay, that's uh, that's a bit more complicated. You can uh, you know you can uh, research that. In the uh, third quarter, a two-stage tournament consisting of uh, one uh, four group uh, round robin stage, and in the uh, and in the second stage of the tournament, the uh, 
or winners of the groups will take that will uh, try to defeat each other in a four person single elimination bracket. Then in the final quarter there will be a uh, match gauntlet which will be filled out by uh, uh, five contenders. The uh, two uh, worst ranked contenders uh, have the first match. The winner of uh, that match goes on to face, uh, face off against the, the uh, next ranked wrestler. Whoever wins that goes uh, moves on further and so on and so forth until the winner of this uh, series goes on to uh, face off against the champion. The uh, Tag team tournaments, I have to admit, I've been, uh, I haven't really defined properly. I guess I, I only really thought of, uh, only, only thought of uh, one tournament for them. That would take place in the uh, final quarter and would be, uh, it would be a six-team uh, round-robin tournament where the champions are also uh, participants. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with uh, this with this uh, championship being the more spontaneous of the bunch. As for the uh, hardcore title, in the first quarter there will be a tournament consisting of a first phase of uh, six singles matches, the uh, winners of which will qualify for a uh, six-pack elimination match, and the winner will, obviously, face the champion. That is in the first quarter. In the uh, second quarter, I uh, want to have a one-night, eight-person single elimination tournament where all the matches in a given round have the uh, same stipulation. That means that all quarterfinal matches have stipulation X, all semifinal semifinal matches have stipulation Y, and the final has stipulation Z or Z or whatever. And yeah, there are still a lot of uh, still a lot of uh, gaps in the tournaments and in my. Uh, uh, calendar schedule because and because this uh, topic is uh, pretty dense and I don't want to uh, lock you out and I, I don't want to lock my audience out I want to uh, know what uh, you think what you would like to see or what you would think would be uh, interesting and I also want to give uh, you know, potential wrestlers the opportunity to uh, suggest certain uh, tournament concepts as for the uh, wrestlers themselves, now that we've uh, uh, breached this topic, uh, let's talk uh, roster size. My uh, initial uh, idea concerning roster size would be that this uh, roster would start at uh, 30 to 40 people, and then after a few years, once the uh, once the first uh, solo title comes into the picture, the uh, roster should have about 40 to 50 people. The reason I, uh, the reason these are, this is the roster size I want, is because I think uh, all titles should have something, have somewhere around eight to ten competitors. Why, eight, why eight to ten? Well, if there is any less, then there is, a, then a, becoming a contender is a, that much easier. So you lose prestige. However, if it becomes a, uh, any bit more, then the, then becoming the uh, contender for a title is less dependent on skill and more dependent on luck, which which I want to avoid. So eight to ten is uh, pretty is a number I think is adequate for that. Also, I want to promote uh, mobility between divisions. I don't want someone who uh, starts in the company as a hardcore wrestler to just do hardcore wrestling. I don't want uh, people who enter as a tag team to just to just be uh, tag teams uh, throughout their whole career, but most importantly, I don't want someone who held the uh, World Championship once to only compete uh, for the World Championship until the, until the end of the promotion. Because, for one, it uh, artificially makes the uh, it artificially makes the uh, road towards becoming a contender difficult for uh, up and coming stars in a way that doesn't uh, in a way that doesn't improve the prestige of the title and uh, the second reason is because I think it makes all the other titles a bit more prestigious if uh, former world champions are either competing for them or are or directly 
can't hold them. And yeah, that's basically the uh, long and short of uh, my ideas on this topic. I hope you found them interesting. I look forward to uh, uh, reading or otherwise finding out about your uh, uh, comments and suggestions. And thank you very much for your attention. Until next time, I have been the One Take Man.